Ooh, boy, just in the nick of time. All right, uh, I'm Eric Simons. This is Albert Pai. Hello. Uh, we're the co-creators of Stack Blitz. Uh, for those of you who have not used Stack Blitz before, it's an online IDE where you can create Angular applications. Uh, I think Brad mentioned in the keynote that the Angular docs now use it for running the live examples. So if you've ever gone to the docs and hit run live example, that's running on our stuff. Um, and so our goal with Stack Blitz is we want to build the best IDE for creating progressive web applications because PWAs are awesome. You can write one code base and target multiple different platforms, you know, mobile and desktop. But the problem with PWAs is that you have to worry about targeting both mobile and desktop and making sure your uh, functionality stays consistent. You know, how many times have you deployed to Prod just to find out that your mobile browser is not working with the functionality you made that was working in your desktop, right? So we wanted to solve this problem, and uh, we've been working on a piece of technology. We're excited to announce it today actually, and it's called Teleport. So what Teleport does is it allows you to hot reload and debug across all of your devices over airwaves and even continents. This works around the world. Uh, it's pretty cool. All you need to do to use it is open a link. No configuration or installation required, and it really works like magic. So we've got a demo here. Um, so I've got this uh, document camera, and uh, Albert's going to put the phone underneath it. I built this demo app, and it's a fan page for Brand Green, and uh, you can see it's got his picture on it, so we can stare at it for hours into the night. Uh, we've got a comment section here where you can type, uh, you know, not creepy things. Um, <laughs> so it seems to work great on desktop, but we want to make sure this works well on mobile. And so with Stacklets, uh, every app gets its own dev server URL, which you can see right there. And so Albert's opened that over here. So let's try hot reloading and show show them that this is you know there's no magic going on here. Well, there's it acts like magic, but no cords. This is an old iPhone. This has got an audio jack. This thing's old. <laughs> so um, so let's go ahead and do a hot reload. I'm going to change the name from Brad Green to ngconf. I'm just going to hit save, and boom. You see, we just, we just reloaded over the air. Pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and just switch that back. Goes back to Brad Green. Okay, so what about debugging? Oh, I see some of you have figured out what we've been up to. All right. So uh, we integrated this cool little version of Chrome DevTools into StackBlitz itself. Whenever any device connects to your dev server, dev server URL up there like we did here, uh, you can see how many devices are connected live through Teleport. So I'm going to go ahead and just go, go to this drop down, see all the different devices. Well, we have people in, uh, I don't even know where that is, Seville. <laughs> um, OK, let me see. This, this might be it. I need to go to this iPhone. Go, oh, people, come on. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone applies. We're, we're going to invite everyone to do this. The first, one, no? uh, the first one's Chrome. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're going to test out, you know, okay, how do we know that we can actually have like a console, you know, where we're actually connected into this device debugging console, right? Let's go ahead and evaluate something. I hope this is that phone. Um, so I'm going to ask, what's your name? And you see, ooh, shows up on the phone, and Albert's going to type his name in here. And the return value of a prompt is the string that was entered. Yep. So it shows up right in the console. So, so now we only got a little time. Everyone, open up your phones and laptops and go to ngconf.stackblitz.io. Everyone's welcome to do that now. Now that we have shown the basic functionality, we're going to go on an adventure together today. All right? <laughs> Give you a couple seconds to do that. You see, wow, look at that. We're up to 150. 150 devices connecting. Man, this thing's. <laughs> this is the first real world stress test of this, by the way. <laughs> so, oh boy, if that thing is rocketing. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's, let's do some uh, hot reloading of this application. Um, 300 devices coming up on here. So, uh, the background color doesn't really fit you know, the, the, the color of Brad's face. Um, so, why don't we change that <laughs> up a little bit? We'll kind of contrast it with a nice little blue, do some hot reloading. Is it changing everyone's devices? It's not changing on that one. <laughs> Maybe you need to refresh, Albert. Um, so uh, let's change it to Google, the Google color scheme. Now yeah, you might need to refresh. Yeah. All right, up to 600. <laughs> okay. Oh, it works there. <laughs> yeah, we have, so people in the audience are using it. It's working. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're changing the theme right now. These, these are SaaS themes that are being compiled in the browser, sent over the air, hot reload on your device, right? So now we're actually going to change some functionality. So Brad's looking kind of inanimate, you know, we, need, we want to bring them to life a little bit. So one of the cool things with uh, progressive web apps is you can use mobile specific APIs. So why don't we hook into the gyroscope and uh, we'll make Brad's face uh, a little more animate here. So if you, uh, oh, it's now, up. there you yeah. go. All right, so now when you twist it, his face is kind of like a compass, 
Okay? If you kind of flip it up and down, it'll skew a little bit, so a little closer to being alive, right? <laughs> wow, 800, almost 900 devices connected over the air. Is everyone still getting this? Still Sweet. working, you hear that? That's amazing, all right. So for the final feature I want to show you, what's really cool about this is you can code custom flags into your application, like feature flags. So you can test it out on other devices and say, okay, is this better, is that better? We've done something similar for this demo. We have a flag in here, and uh, everyone make sure your audio is on for the full experience. This is gonna blow your mind, trust me. <laughs> like if this was a link on Reddit, you'd wanna click it, okay? <laughs> so are you ready for this? I'm gonna go ahead and just set this flag to true, save. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and hit that red button. <laughs> Do you hear that? That's beautiful. A th almost a thousand concurrent. <laughs> almost a thousand concurrent Rick rolls, and then with the stroke of a key, they get silenced. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's all we have time for today. We have a 20-minute session tomorrow. Uh, this is live on stackbooks.com right now, and you can use it. So thank you.